Good day, my little spooky teacups. Happy Halloween! Would you like to join me on a spooktastic adventure? Yes, I am your ever gracious, dreadful host, the Over Englishman. Welcome to the Witch's House, an RPG maker horror game. Shall we? Let's enjoy. Begin! As far as I've heard from this game, we play as Viola, a young girl who becomes stuck in some way, probably because she's a bit of a horror protagonist idiot, but becomes trapped in the witch's house. The way is blocked by a small patch of roses. Hmm. Fair enough. The way is blocked by a startlingly huge patch of roses. Very well. Cold, seemingly artificial roses. Cold, seemingly artificial. Oh, for God's sake. There! Ah, ha ha! Yes. Sounds something rusty and sharp. Got a machete. Yes! Let's use that. Oh, whoops. Whoops. My mistake. Item. Machete. Cut roses. Can't even make a dent in them. Ah, well, I suppose that means that I have to go and use the one on the machete up here. And I did it again, audience. Bloody hell, I'm stupid. Now, for the record, I'm going to be using OBS to record this. Why? Well, mainly because Fraps seems to hate this game with a passion. Therefore, I have to use OBS. So if the recording lags ever so slightly, I am terribly sorry. Let's enter the witch's house, shall we? What horrors will we find? What awaits us in the witch's house? Who knows? Oh, for God's sake! What? Do, do you mind, game I was narrating? Uh... <clears throat> Pretend that never happened, audience. Welcome to the witches. No, I'm not doing all that again, for God's sake. Ugh. Right, let's go get the machete. Uh, back with you in a moment. Right then. Here we are again, audience. My deepest apologies. Nothing you just saw actually happened. No, it was merely an optical illusion. Let's proceed, shall we? <coughs> ah, excuse me, audience. Come to my room. Okay, then. Also, I discovered we have a letter in our pocket. Read. Mind if you go to her house. But stay away from the forest. Hope to see you home soon, Dad. So I don't actually really know how we get. Oh! Black Cat! Yo, I decided to follow you for laughs. Incidentally, where the heck did you come out from? Oh my god, the door's gone. I only just noticed that. Holy shit! A vase of roses. Mm. Vase of Roses. So I suppose we save using cat then. A large clock. Time marches on. I love the fact that you can actually move diagonally in this. A teddy bear rests against a pile of presents. Take the teddy bear. Got the teddy bear. What was that knocking? It says, opens when the house returns to normal. Uh. Oh, should I put the teddy back? I can't. Opens when the house returns to normal. Artificial flowers adorn the desk. It's not lit. Eh, yeah, fair enough. Um. Oh, hello. The basket has a big teddy bear in it. There's a little bit of room left. Uh, no, don't load the get. No! Bloody menus! Put the teddy bear in the basket. Its limbs make it too big to fit. Bears in the basket. 
Its limbs make it too big to... F Are we gonna have to chop up the teddy bear? What the fuck? What the... Okay. What are you? An industrial dresser with nothing inside. A workbench. There's a pair of scissors on the workbench. Ah, take the scissors. They're chained... They're chained to the workbench? What? They're chained to the bench. Who chains scissors to a bench? It's locked. So... Are you sure there's nothing in the dresser? Oh, oh wait, if it's chained to the bench, then maybe- Yes, cut off the bear's limbs using the- Yes! You cut off the teddy bear's limbs, got teddy bear torso. There's blood on that desk. Bloody scissors. Why the hell was the teddy bear bleeding? It's locked again. What? What? Why is there a bloody paw print? Cat, can I save again, please? Save! Huh? Did some- Did the lights go out? What- What was that? Okay, I'm getting a little worried now. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. Put the- No, don't read the letter if I- God damn Viola! I can see we're already going to have a bit of a problem with you, aren't we? Got yours unwieldy as Boris. Put it in the basket. Stuffed teddy bear torso in the basket. Heard an unlocking sound somewhere. The cabinet, maybe? Huh? Oh. What the fuck? Ah! Okay then. Another giant bear paw print. Time marches on. Yes, yes, yes. What's this? Like, is this gonna open now? It won't open. Oh, for God's sake. Still what do you want? A large clock time marches on. Oh, stop it with the noises. I've got my volume ratcheted right up, audience, so pardon me if I jump at seemingly everything. What? There's the teddy bear's limbs on the ground. Take. Got the teddy bear limbs. Can I put these in the basket as well? Oh, there's a there's a bear paw print over this. I can't read it anymore. Put the teddy bear in. Oh god, I just read that description. Cut off with scissors. The insides are fleshy. Fleshy? What what was that? Something's moving. Something moved into here. I saw something. I know I saw something. That thing still won't open. What are you? Do I put the limbs in the clock? No. Okay, I'm just going to use the adventure game logic and move on until there's a blockage and then slowly rub everything on everything else. The drawer. There's nothing inside. Maybe I put the teddy bear limbs in the drawer? No? Okay. Let's move on. Door opened. Hmm. Oh. Oh, I'm pushing chairs around. Sorry. Sorry. Didn't mean to do that. I'm... Okay. A fireplace. A fireplace. Look inside. Nothing but soot. Okay, then. Nothing to worry about. Then... Oh, I'm back here again. What? Jeez, you freaked me out. Don't come out of nowhere like that. What the hell? Okay, the... I'm really getting lost. I'm getting lost, and there's only like three robes. Good God, my sense of direction is terrible. The cook is busy. Lend a hand. What? Is this mice on the floor? Huh? It's locked. Oh! Hello! Self-chopping knife. There's someone invisible here. Do, do nothing. Oh, wait, wait! Lend a hand! Teddy bear's li- mm. These teddy bear's limbs are used for seriously- Oh, wait! Hand over the bear limbs! I hand over my bear hands for this! Oh, thank you. I was in need of a hand, or two. Let me show my appreciation. Got a silver key. Ooh, thank you. 
Lined with tableware, glasses, and seasonings. Nothing particularly eye-catching. Wait, I can squish these bugs. If I step on them. I, I stepped on that other one. There we go. No more bugs in the kitchen. Lovely. A book titled Dining of Aristocrats. Read. Of the people of the ruling and wealthy classes have enjoyed dining with silverware. But using hard-to-clean cutlery, they could hire servants to demonstrate their wealth. In addition, silver utensils change color upon contact with poison, making them quite useful. Fair enough. Uh, ah, so busy. So, uh, well, fine, fine, found a use for the bears then. So, the silverware react. Taste poison. The silverware reacts with poison, does it? Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. What's that in the middle? A strangely colored soup in a skull-shaped bowl. Do not drink that. No, no, no. We're putting a silver key in it. Hit the hit the bowl with the key. Hit the bowl with the key. It makes a pleasing sound. <laughs> Lovely. I love the little details they put into these games. Put the key in the soup. Uh, game? The key turned black in the soup. You heard an unlocking sound somewhere. Something moved in that fireplace. That fireplace, why can't I look in it anymore? What is going on? What's this say now? It says nothing. Beautiful. So I tasted the poison, I suppose. Um, save. Save the cat. Ah! Don't you. Table had a vase on it. I know. But the table is now stalking me. Curse you, table. Uh. Where the hell am I going? Now, I am not going back to that bloody cupboard again. No. Every time I go back to that cupboard. Apologies for the rummaging noises in the background, dear audience. My girlfriend is unplugging her laptop. Stop that. Wine bottle fell off. No! Oh, bloody bugs again. The door opened. Ah! Ah! Uh. There was something there. It's like another girl wandering around. Is that the witch? Am I in the witch's house? Well, I am in the witch's house, but is that the witch? I don't know. An armored figure with a spear. Feels like it could move at any moment. Well, that's not completely ominous at all, is it? No, 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 not at all. Not that, like, there's a save point right next to it. A decorative cat ornament. Gotcha! Thank you. What the hell has been layered over this? It looks terrible. As in terrifying. The spider has poor eyes. He can't even tell colors apart. A dusty bookshelf of cobwebs. Nothing of note is here. A butterfly is caught in the web. Do not touch that. I get the feeling I have to replace that with something. I'm kind of curious to know what happens if I pick it up though. Butterfly is caught in the web. Got a butterfly. Can I put the butterfly back in the web? Oh, I can put the butterfly back in the web. Does that mean I have to put the butterfly back in the web? I don't understand. It won't open. Oh, God. It ate my head. Okay, okay. Sorry about this, audience. I have a little bit of a problem with spiders. Okay, <laughs> let's, let's just move on. Why the fuck did it eat my head? Okay, so note to self, don't touch the damn butterfly. Do not touch the butterfly. The butterfly will not explode, but the spider will eat you. What was that? Something went boom boom, and then something went smash. A blue winged butterfly model in a case. The case of the cover web budge. Cover of the case web budge. Yeah. Painting of white cat done with wool. Scrap of paper. Read. Rope in a barrel. Thank you. Informative. Painting of a lady with a parasol by a river. Small bookshelf, but a book is missing. 
Uh, put the book back on the bookshelf, maybe? At some point? I guess we find something. I cannot understand this. Uh, do you know what, actually? I'm gonna leave this episode here for now. Thank you very much for watching, audience. I will see you in the next video. Cue the end card, go! Thank you for watching my little spooky teacups. I have been the over Englishman. This has been The Witch's House, an RPG maker horror classic. Please never forget to like the video, to comment, to subscribe, to share this anyway if you like it. And please have a cup of tea for me. Check out some of these beautiful people listed here. Love you all and farewell.